Next, we'll look at how we use the distributive property with combining like terms to simplify expressions. Okay, this expression has a few things going on. We have 7 being multiplied by a minus 4 in parentheses, and then as a separate term, we have plus 3a. So where do we begin? Well, when we're simplifying expressions to know where to start, we think of the order of operations, which tell us to first simplify what's inside parentheses. Well, here we have a minus 4. That can't be simplified any more than it already is. a and 4 are not like terms, so we can't combine them. So let's move on to the next step. Exponents. Well, there are no exponents in this expression, so we can keep going. Next, we move on to multiplication and division. We do have some multiplication here. We have 7 next to a set of parentheses. So that means the 7 is being multiplied by what's inside the parentheses. We also have some multiplication with the 3a. It shows that 3 is being multiplied by a. But since 3a is already as simplified as it can be, there's nothing we can do to simplify that term. But our first term, the 7 times a minus 4, that part can be simplified. But we have to use the distributive property. So remember, with distributive property, we're really just using multiplication. So that's why we can do it during our multiplication step of the order of operations. We take the number that's on the outside of the parentheses and multiply it by each thing on the inside. So first, we'll start by multiplying 7 times a, which we can just write as 7a. Now we multiply 7 times our minus 4, which gives us minus 28. So that first part just becomes 7a minus 28. And we can't forget our plus 3a, so we'll just bring that on down. Okay. Now we're left with just addition and subtraction. So let's see how we can simplify this. Now remember, when we're adding and subtracting, we can only add and subtract like terms together. Okay? So this is what we call combining like terms. This is done during the addition and subtraction step of the order of operations. Let's see what like terms we have here we have a 7a and a plus 3a. They're like terms because they have the same variable, the a. So all we have to do is add 7a and 3a together. Well, that gives us 10a. And then we bring down the minus 28. There's nothing else to combine that with, so it just stays as it is. So our final answer is 10a minus 28. So look at what we just did. We took that whole big long expression that we started with and just by using distributive property and combining like terms, we simplified it to just 10a minus 28. Here's another example. This time we have 8b and then minus 6 times b plus 5 in parentheses. Just like before, we can't start with simplifying what's inside the parentheses because b plus 5 can't be simplified any more than it is. We can't add those together. So we're going to have to rely on our distributive property and combining like terms to help us simplify it. Now remember, when we use distributive property and we're not breaking the rules of the order of operation, we're still following the proper order it's just that now, since we have some variables in here, we have to use these specific methods. Okay, so the distributive property gets done first before combining like terms because we always have to do multiplication before we add and subtract. So we're still following the proper order. So let's apply the distributive property. So we have a 6 
in front of or to the left of the b plus 5 in parentheses. But we also have a subtraction sign to the left of the 6. Remember, you always keep the sign that's to the left of the number variable with it. That's the only way you'll remember if you need to treat it as a positive or negative. So since we have a subtraction sign with the 6, we treat it as a negative 6. So we're going to multiply that negative 6 times b, which becomes negative 6b. You just smush them together. And then we have negative 6 times a positive 5. Negative 6 times positive 5 gives us negative 30. Okay, so remember those rules with integers. Multiplying a negative times a positive gives us a negative. So we have a negative 30. So, so far, that part of our expression simplifies to negative 6b minus 30. Now, don't forget, we have that ab, that, that 8b that's in the front there. So let's bring that on down. Okay. So now we just have subtraction left to simplify. And that we can do by combining like terms. Okay. We have two terms that have the variable b, 8b and minus 6b. We have 8 of b and take away 6 of those, we're left with 2 of b, so 2b. And then we just bring down our minus 30 because there was nothing else left to combine it with. Okay, So all of that simplifies to just 2b minus 30. Okay, So very, very important to remember when you see subtraction or negative signs, slow down and take your time. Okay, For example, you had to remember that that subtraction sign stays with that 6 that we started with, so we treat it as a negative 6. Okay? If you do that, you'll make sure that your answer is correct with those positives and negatives. So. To simplify expressions that have variables, we still follow the order of operations, but we have to use the new methods that we've learned. So first we'll apply the distributive property, which is multiplication, that's the multiplication step of the order of operations. And then we can combine like terms, which is the addition and subtraction step. So just to remember, distributive property first, and then you can combine like terms and you'll be able to simplify those expressions that have variables.